Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. Because we haven't had a good 40,000 game in a while. Well, it actually wasn't that long ago, but you know, it's been enough time, and it's time for another one. And it's actually time for yet another genre. On this occasion, we're going to be playing a sort of action RPG. RPG, RPG, RPG style of game. Sort of similar to Diablo and the similar games like that. And uh, you know what? I'm all down for that. So uh, let's see what this game is actually about. We're going to boot up a new game. I played a little bit just to sort of get the hang of things, making sure that settings, etc. are fine. So uh, well, let's see what happens when we start off a new game. And the first thing that we need to do is create a character. So, uh, in the base game you have three possible classes to choose from. You have the Crusader, the Assassin, and the Psyker. Tech Adept is something that is apparently unlocked by a downloadable uh, DLC, or purchable DLC, maybe I should say. And uh, so yeah, we have the Crusader, and there's a lot of stuff here to go over. <laughs> and I also noticed something I didn't even, even notice before. We have uh, expertise. That is the tactical crusader expertise. Oh, hello. Yeah, I didn't even see that before, so that's beautiful. Uh, but yeah, crusaders, before rising to the rank of inquisitor, you start as a crusader, the holy warrior of the Adeptus Ministorum. Crusaders displayed their devotion to the emperor as honor guards or executioners. And such is the seal, uh, seal of the crusaders that it makes them ideal recruits for the inquisition. So basically, they're really fanatic kind of guys. So crusaders, uh, they have focused resource, uh, especially and focus points operate power armor and heavy weapons. They are heavy weapon specialists, so they are the only crusaders, uh, or rather, only crusaders are capable of wielding heavy melee and ranged weapons. They have also access to power armor. Then, as an assault uh, crusader, you have a power sword, gray sword, and suppression shield. You also have the assault armor. Which is, uh, we actually didn't know about that from the uh, from the previous game that we played, uh, Gladius, because we have jump packs. That is exactly what the assault marines had there. Then we can also be a tactical crusader, and getting a little bit more range, I guess. Last pistol and auto gun, as well as uh, sentinel armor. So what is that? Teleport beacon system. Ooh, can you teleport? Uh, summon automated tyrannical turrets. That's kind of cool. Then you have the heavy gunner crusader. Obviously, they have heavy guns. So shotgun and last gun. Uh, yeah, last gun is the really big things. Uh, that we also saw in Gladius, I think. Well, similar at least. And also the demolition armor, the heavy armor. Nice. Then we also have the assassins. They are uh, rather. What do we know about them? Before becoming inquisitor, you served the Imperium as a death cult assassin, a specialist of deceit who expresses her worship through uh, through death. Death cults can be found on many imperial worlds, paying their tithe to the emperor with the uh, calling of her heretics, traitors, and other enemies of mankind. Interesting. So they are uh, adren they ha rather they have adrenaline resource. Assassin's in Inquisitor must spend adrenaline points to dodge use exotic weapons and armor skills, etc. They have access to exotic equipment, which is uh, the only one who can do that. Uh, they also can dodge, which is, I guess, interesting. And then you have the sniper assassin, which obviously has a sniper rifle. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Uh, maybe not so much in a game like this, I think. But you know, whatever. They also have Hololithic Armor, uh, extremely rare armor, uh, apparently close to the hollow fields of the Eldar. They can get holographic projection, projections. That's kind of nifty. Then you have the Infiltrator Assassin. Ooh, she now has a skull mask. Uh, Death Cult Blades and Assassin Power Swords. So they are more melee based, basically the exact opposite of the sniper. They have a stealth bodysuit, which I would assume means you can stealth around a little bit. Then you have the Eradicator uh, Assassin. Feels like this is the uh, no shits given kind of assassin who says that, well, if I can't stealth, I'll just blow stuff up with a shotgun. Well, they have access to the sniper rifle, that is true. 
they have a fabricator's distortion armor and a relic armor of ex a relic armor of extreme rarity almost unheard of uh, incredible speed for a short time okay so they can go really 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 fast that sounds actually kind of fun as well now last we have the psyker who is the sort of mage class i guess so before rising to the rank of inquisitor you served as a primaris psyker drawing power from the warp shaping reality with your mind psykers are sanctioned mutants disdained yet essential to the imperium they channel otherworldly energies to banish demons but they always risk, risk damnation and deadly backlash from the immaterium so that's kind of interesting um, the perils of the warp uh, psychers gain warp heat points that are as penalty for using psychic powers and if we uh, accumulate too much of it we can spawn warp anomalies or even demons that's presumably bad uh, we also have psychic powers due to the unique talents of the inquisitor with the psychic background are permitted to use psychic powers and also force weapons cool uh, so we have the empyreanist psyker with a force staff that is a psychic weapon which uh, very hard to master so basically it's a staff <laughs> they have imperian armor uh, uses long forgotten scene of the technology to create warp anomalies also with the Rosarius force field, don't know what that is. We have an Aether Walker uh, Psyker. Okay, sure. With a nice eye in the forehead here. They have swords, uh, a sword and a force rod. Uh, sword is a psychic weapon. Yes, everything is a psychic weapon. Uh, so basically just more melee stuff, I guess. Um, and also the Aether Walker armor. You can travel short distances in a blink of an eye. Ooh, Mage Blink from World of Warcraft. Cool. <laughs> now this Scryer Psyker. He looks very, very boring, but sure. Bolt Piston and Force Rod. Sure. Uh, the Scryer wields the perfect combination of Psychical and other. Okay, so they are. Okay, so you're more, more about the powers. You are more about the weapons. You are sort of in between, I guess. You have the Warp Bound armor. Uh, undetectable reconnaissance. Okay. Uh, so it's like a project is a disembodied press. Okay, so basically the same as assassin. You can project a uh, copy of yourself somewhere. Uh, well, 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 well. Who, who should we play? Well, I'm gonna play a psyker because I kind of like the whole mage thing. And uh, you know what? I am gonna go with the imperial psyker. This is actually the one that I played, and it was really, really fun. And none of the others really appealed to me. Another thing, I said that he looked boring, well, it doesn't really look, look that fun either, but whatever. Rob is going to be, uh, I mean, it's going to be ghost, but, because that's just what my characters are. And, um, what is story mode, by the way? Nah, we're not going to go story mode, we're just going to go regular mode, so create that character. Here we go, so now we can actually start playing. So we are, are at level 1, obviously, and, uh... Yeah, let's get into the game and we shall see what this game is actually about. Inquisitor's Log. Classified report for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. It has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Orders. It's authentic, but extremely old. The intensity of the Caligari warp searches is beyond anything I've experienced. There were many delays during the journey. But the coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave finally led me to this desolate system. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery. It got through the warp searches with considerable loss of data, and my astropath has been unable to decipher it. I will personally investigate the source of this mysterious signal. Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty halls. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal.
Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Box communication is jammed. And I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log in case I don't return. And here we the are. Auditorial log. Okay, talk New more. Entry. While attempting to dock in the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. And pray for him we shall. By the way, is this a thing? This is presumably into the hangar bay i guess i don't know we can't go there right now so this is the game this is me uh we are in a sort of tutorial mode ish that means to say that uh well we lost everything in the crash so i don't have weapons we're gonna have to pick up some weapons in order for to us to do anything so right down here we can't really see anything so uh we really don't have much else to do but to keep going now the game is played in basically two kinds of ways you can either point and click like this like any point and click game but you also attack by clicking on enemies and i found that you know being if, if i had to move away and also attack and also it just became a little bit weird uh, so uh, you can move about with the uh, arrow keys which is also weird because they're in the wrong place on the keyboard so i remapped it to wasd so that is what i am currently using to walk about so let's uh, let's just keep going here and find a thing mindless servitors were created for menial tasks but having a flash drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door. Well, no matter how excessive, he uh, obliged pretty nicely. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> weird. Weird f flesh stuff, I guess. Uh, by the way, I'm, I have to say, from the intro sequence that you just saw, uh, the architecture of this uh, world i say well uh this part of the world at least is i mean it's amazing you see that a uh, big 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 ship and you have an appearance of like i don't know gothic cathedrals it's i mean it's just super super fun isn't it it's also a lot of uh tutorials etc we're not gonna bother with those ah an ancient cogitator let's see if the tech prayers still hold it might have information about this place I just love that, by the way. Tech prayers. I love the uh, the words, etc. The language that goes into these games. It's just it's just so much fun. So, a diagnostic log. We have a vessel here with a whole bunch of letters, <laughs> numbers. Uh, code name Martyr. Well, I, I said code name. Name Martyr. Uh, that is in the title of the game. Hmm. <laughs> we might be a match. Uh, in the possession of the Holy Orders of the Emperor's Inquisition. An uh, inadequate data co uh, collated to verify current data status, uh, last maintenance logged, the Jeller shield compromised, uh, prayers of maintenance. I love the language of these games. Prayers of maintenance. Uh, it's apparently required for following zones, we don't know. Uh, invocations of blessed recalibration. <laughs> You say recalibration. You don't have, it doesn't have to be a blessed invocation uh, or whatever. Uh, also, can't catalog that and corrupt the data and interrupt it, etc., etc. Oh, just as I suspected, it's a pile of rust. Well, at least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. Duly noted. So that is uh, what we are New going log to entry. do. Bodies everywhere. The putrid stench of death. Horrible wounds still ooze blood. What unholy beast stalks these halls, I wonder? I wondered that too, but we have a forest staff. Hello. What have we got here? A weapon? 
Well, the Emperor does protect his loyal subjects. And now we can actually attack stuff. So, uh, left mouse button on when clicking someone is a force bolt, piercing and armor breaking. Uh, deals kinetic damage. We also have a bio lightning, medium range force discharge that deals warp damage. We also have an inferno on the self, creates a column of fire for 20 seconds that seeks out enemies and he deals heat damage damage. As well as a Molten Beam, Pierce Channel Barrage, Channel Beam attacks the, uh, the, uh, Channel Beam attack that deals heat damage. And uh, heat and warp etc etc that is what we sort of want to keep our eyes on. Uh, I don't know exactly where, here we go, warp heat, yes. So if we start using warp stuff this is gonna fill up and if we get into the dangerous levels here that's when presumably something might happen. And what do we have now? A really big guy. A manifestation of chaos. Will it cleanse your taint from here? Presumably. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The camera, the camera didn't like that. So, Plague Ogren. And he's dead. I, li I, I like I the force bolts. The of chaos seeping into the walls. I taste the despair in the air. This illness must be purged before it's too late. Sure thing, bucko. Pirate kinetic staff. Hello. So now we can switch tab, uh, or uh, switch weapon on tab. Uh, we can actually get a pyroblast. Uh, so that's an area effect with a knockback and uh, applies vulnerability to heat and high suppression. Long range uh, area attack that deals heat damage. So uh, presumably, if we put it that, uh, put it here. Okay. I don't really like that. Let's uh, tab back to this. I like this one. Kind of fast, does good damage, etc. etc. I do like this one. Right. Sparkly stuff. New log entry. I've found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a tech priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. And then it doesn't say everything. <laughs> For some reason. Here we go. A little bit more information here. Argumentum, defense system anomalies. Uh, brother Marcus Drang. The monitor opened fire on an approaching rogue trader vessel, causing considerable damage and loss of life on the targeted ship. Teleportarium signals are regularly jammed, blocking entry and exit to and from a monastery. Okay. Uh, confessions of the related personnel during uh, the penitence hearings. After thorough investigation and questioning, I can safely claim that no personnel were involved in the incident. The defense turrets open fire without any human involvement, and a signal blocking any teleportation attempts is generated automatically. Probable cause system malfunction. And uh, log the priority level request to the maintenance fraternity awaiting confirmation. Had emergency cogitators installed on the hangar deck and a main cogitator in the control room where security personnel can manually override both the turret system and the teleportarium signals in case of any further incidents. Uh, Medicaid reports of personnel voluntarily participating in their confession and then its data corrupted. I found new information. There's an emergency cogitator nearby where I could turn off the jamming signals. Well, there we go. So, yeah, this is sort of a... I mean, it is an investigation, a proper investigation. So, the Abandoned Colossus. Uh, what does it say about this? I must find out everything I can about this fortress monastery. Where does it come from? Is there so many in charge of this Abandoned Colossus? What happened to the thousands of people on the hundreds of subdecks? So many questions, but I trust the Emperor that I'll find the answers here. Let me sort of gather our clues. Cogitators, cogitators, and actually all the log as well. Uh, I have found the room tainted by the film. Uh, this is my. This is. These are my logs. Then the cage. I'm standing on the hangar deck on the fortress monastery. The teleporter and my Vox signals are both jammed, and the automatic weapon system of the martyr are active. I need to find the controls in order to disable the systems that are cutting off my connection to my ship and Captain Van Winter. And we have had some cogitator stuff over here. And uh, presumably these are the clues that we need for the first chapter. And actually, there's not a whole lot of exploration in this game. I mean, we have the minimap, and the minimap, minimap clearly shows the stuff that we can do. There's really not much else, as a matter of fact. So, let's open this door. Come on. Do, open the, the, door. do the thing. It is in the walls now. 
everywhere. Taint. In the... machines. Oh, by the Emperor. What foul abomination is this? That is such a Warhammer 40k thing to say. What foul My abominations. Are sputtering gibberish. I smell corruption. Exciting. Mind the door, please. <laughs> Mind the door. You smell a corruption, eh? Yeah, we have some enemies here now. Hello. More chaos people. So they are not coming for me. So it's time to kill some stuff. Foul heretics. Let my powers cleanse you from your sins. We can presumably shoot at these, right? No, we can't. So yeah, this is why I like this weapon. It's actually pretty damn powerful because of the piercing that it does. And also there is some, some sort of... Uh, Stealth things so you can press spacebar to go into hiding, so to speak. So you get a little bit of a you get a little bit of a highlight for where you can stand. So that's uh, something that just opened up now. And uh, yeah, so you can see I I made very short work of them doing just what I did over there. So another cogitator over here. Finally, that's the cogitator that will disable the jammer. Just a bit of deactivation. I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, finally. I thought we'd lost you. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back, but who would clear my name if you died in battle? Your loyalty is quite admirable, Captain. So, some extra story there, perhaps? And a level up! Woo! <laughs> so, apparently that was... Uh, was that the first uh, chapter, I think? Yes, first campaign mission, and now we get to level up. So, uh, we have unlocked Psychic Focus and Psychic Power Crush. Long range single target attack that deals warp damage and also a passive skill point. So what we can do now is a couple of things. We can just start the next uh, chapter. We can also go into character and there's a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. And I haven't really gotten the hang of everything. Uh, we have range combat, area effects, psychic debuffs and psychic combat. So that's the first thing, and we get these little uh, uh, levels, which I guess is represented by the number of passive skill points we assign to it. Uh, apparently we can't do anything. I don't know exactly why we can't do anything here, but we can't. So what, what we can do right now is either just get a critical hit chance with range skills. We can get a... 5% range damage bonus against slow shot or stunned targets, or a plus 3% range damage bonus, flat damage bonus. In uh, area effects over here, we have 3% suppression damage bonus to area effect skills. Now the issue with this is I don't know which ones of my skills are area of effect. I think I have an idea, I don't know if all my uh, skills that affect more than one enemy is affected by this. I mean slightly too little in terms of information radius for area effect and damage bonus to area effect uh, because the lightning thing I would assume is an area effect so that could be good to upgrade uh, in uh, psychic debuffs or scholastica sicana maledictions very nice uh, ma matter displacement allows the use of matter displacement armor breaking psychic mastery or vulnerability psychic mastery or stun psychic mastery. I don't see how these are passive skills, but whatever. Uh, in the psychic combat, I love the use of exploit weakness, critical hit chance, or uh, deny the warp, warp resistance. Eh, kind of good, perhaps. And energy shield gain on hit psychic mastery. Ooh, that sounds actually kind of interesting. But I think that just basic damage is going to be a good start, right? Just range damage bonus. I'm doing range damage, obviously. So let's just get more bonus in here. Yeah, that fills up. And presumably we've done something when we fill that up, I guess. Our inventory is most likely lacking quite a lot. For some reason we have three slots. Don't know about that. 
So this is the character, and uh, we have Mind Rift. Uh, that is a perk. Was I able to choose which perk? Can I? I cannot have anything else. So that's forty-five percent damage bonus on him. Imperiled war piece, or in imperiled war piece. So if I increase my war piece, so I would presume the yellow level, maybe I get even more bonus damage. That's actually that's interesting to think about. Uh, See, so yeah, I have some heroic. There's, there's a lot of stuff here, by the way. There's a lot of stuff, which is fine. But let's get into chapter two and see what's going on on the martyr. Argos have picked up a Vox signal not far from your location. It is transmitting on an Imperial channel. It could be important. I'm on my way there. Perfect. We have a new clue. Where do we see... Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Where can we see the clues? Do we have a... No, 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 not that. Week of the villain. 100% chance to find villains within missions. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess there's some sort of, uh, I don't know how much, ooh, tactical view, well that's cool, uh, that's actually, I don't know how useful that is right now, uh, but, uh, ooh, time warp I have now, uh, yeah, the, I don't know how, if it's uh, necessarily online, but there are definitely, like, stuff that's going on in this game, which is fine. Uh, time warp conjures an immobile aura that stops time for 30 seconds. The cycle can move normally, but every meter traveled reduces the duration by 0.05 seconds. Attacking enemies stuck in the aura reduces the duration by 5 seconds. And uh, so why would I actually do that? Is that just sort of to get away? I mean, it's not a bad thing, but whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I know a bit about Warbeat. So we have some enemies over here. I can get in here and sort of just hide, but then I immediately broke that, so whatever. Let's so just uh, kill these. Kill, 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 kill. There we go. Yeah, I like this weapon. It's pretty damn powerful. Uh, psychic focus. I would assume that that is a... Uh, Thing that I can use somehow, presumably. Uh, right, keep going. Ooh, well, this uh, the Emperor. doesn't look too good, does it? What have you found down there, Inquisitor? A vile display of cruelty and madness. A sacrifice to the dark gods and their acolytes prowling these decks. In other words, there's something on that ship that requires human sacrifice. Wonderful. I do like his very uh, <laughs> unclear first sentence there. Wild display, indeed. But what wild display you mean? Oh crap! Took a bit of damage there, I guess. Uh, but nothing too bad. We have some over here. Let's shoot you. Yeah, one shot takes care of all of them. Perfect. Yeah, this. Uh, I mean, this looks nice. I guess. Very icky. <laughs> And those are probably innards, etc., etc. Cool, cool. Let's move. Uh, let's move on. Kill you two. You're dead. Kill you two. You're dead. Uh, regular. He's a cultist. Regular. Uh, anything I can do here? Nope. Still, still. Look on the minimap. Yeah, the minimap will tell you what to do. Uh, I don't know. Do we? No, we don't see. We don't see drops on the minimap. Frag grenades, though. The crude tool of mindless destruction. I'm sure it'll be useful on this ship. <laughs> Indeed. So on three, we can throw a grenade. Right. So we have Lingua Technis transcript. Uh, ex Exloader from Engineer Theta 12B Lucan. Current rank operator confessor to the great machine spirit of the martyr. Inloaded to blah blah blah. Uh, so what do we find here? Mega level encryption initiated. 
Uh, let's see here. Ultra high and growing threat. Sure. Uh, detachment of that data serves in the blessed core. Initiating data modules, scrubbing, anointing central processing modules. The machine spirit is slowly becoming insane and has started to override the defense systems, destroying some possibly harmless void craft trying to land on the deck. We must act before it sheds more blood. I don't need to remind you of the fateful consequences if such information becomes open knowledge. It all must remain confidential. I submit this invocation in the name of the O Messiah to the wisdom of my trusted Hierophant. Right. So, uh, the machine spirit of this place is going insane. Wasn't that just lovely? And hello, who do I'm we have here? Worker committee at last. That grenade could be useful now. Yeah, that is a big gun. Let's uh, throw a grenade at it. Let's throw a grenade over there. Good. That worked well. Let me just shoot the rest of them. Let's walk this outside. Is tough. A worthy enemy at last. Is he? Is he though? I'm just gonna do this, by the way. Here we go. Take some fire. Take some fire, damn you. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm just gonna hide here. Oh, apparently he can shoot me. Anyway. Well, that's not fair. Okay, we got a Signum. Don't know what Signum is. I lost a little bit of health there. Uh, apparently the... Hey, stay away. <laughs> Uh, apparently, they can hit me even if I'm in cover. That's good to know. <laughs> At least that cover. Well, actually, hmm, that's actually true. Now that I think about it, cover isn't really cover forever. If you look at this pillar, that, that, that that's what this pillar looked like. It doesn't anymore. He basically shot through it. So, yeah, okay. Uh, let's uh, use this little cannon here. And what am I supposed to shoot? See, I can shoot this. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if I can... Can I break it? Yeah, see, I can break it a little bit. I don't exactly know if I am supposed to shoot anything here, so let's just leave. <laughs> uh, let's keep going instead. So we have this little area over here with a something terminal, a cogitator more. Or a more. Another cogitator. So let's click on this. So we have a maintenance log. Uh, and can we see who it is from? Uh, doesn't say. I hope you're reading this. This is that's the safest way for us to communicate. If they found out that what we are planning, they'll execute us. Hide your messages in the maintenance servers and make them look like simple devotional notes. We need to plan our next step. There are huge problems in the research. It decks the red sanctum has been quarantined. Uh, I just love the language. The maintenance sermon. So you're praying for maintenance. <laughs> it's just fun. Uh, I received your message by the emperor. This is bad. Same here down here. Same same here down here. <laughs> not, not just same down here. No, same here down here. Uh, nobody knows where the martyr is headed. And with uh, Uther holed up in a sanctum and his seconds in charge plotting against him, I have no idea where to turn. Uther will not be our, or will be our death. Uh, think about it. He promised us immortality and glory for the Imperium. And now we have what? Those things in the dark zone. We must get out of here immediately or shall we join the others? The dark zone, you say? Okay. Nice. So Uther, presumably the sort of head of this place. And uh, he's apparently not looking too hot. Uh, having his subordinates plotting against him. That's ne never a good thing, is it? Uh, so we have a corpse I here. have found a corpse of an Imperial soldier. I'll take his data slate. It could contain a recording that could shed some light on what happened here. We get a little bit of a video here. That's a big thing, by the way. That is a very, very big thing. Sure. Do we have anything to say about that? Um, so, right, the expedition here. Uh, this abandoned wreck was transmitting an astropathic distress signal that followed ancient inquisitorial protocols. The fortress monastery didn't answer our hails, and we did not detect any signs of life on the decks from our ship. Nevertheless, I found fresh corpses clearly members of a recent imperial expedition. Who are these men, and what are they doing here? Right. Powerful creature of chaos, and the recorded audio implies that they had Lord Inquisitor on board as well. I see, I see. I'll keep going. I do have a thing that we're supposed to find over here. So these are just regular ones. These are not any problem. 
This should be eminently easy to take care of. We get credits. I wonder what we get credits for. We also get some medical supplies. Good to know. So now we have the inoculator. Is that on zero? Zero is far away, but okay, whatever. <laughs> we also have a space marine corpse now. I found the body of a fallen Adeptus Astartes. What? Did you just say that there was a dead space marine down there? He must have been a member of that unlucky Imperial reconnaissance team I found. Allow me to clarify that. You only found pieces of them. So it'll be just you against something that tore apart one of the mightiest champions of the Imperium. Don't jump to any conclusions just yet, Captain. It could easily be more than one creature. Well, either way, it's not that good, is it? I mean, it's not good at all. But let's keep going. Oh, we have a reborn Marauder. Let's use my other spell. The lightning thing. So now he has uh, weakness to lightning, apparently. Oh, he has uh, stuff coming off of him. That's nasty. Are you dead? Thank you. So I will say that this is basically how as far as I played before. So from now on, I don't know what's going to happen. And we're going to play it out together for a little while at least. So uh, into this room, a lot of enemies. I see oh, snurglings. Did you think a horde can withstand my powers? No, no, no. That's not going to fly. Oh, I like this. This uh, fills up my warp thing. Yes. So let's not do too much of that, but do a little. There we go. Uh, so is I, th I would assume it goes down really fast, by the way. So I would assume that this is the area you want to be in if you are going to get to um, if you're going to get to that extra forty-five percent damage, which just seems very nice. Well, this is a killing floor as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what do we have over here? We have another corpse. Team Sigma, this is Chaos Thorn speaking. Team Sigma, come in. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks by the Emperor? Mind your manners. I'm an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate... An Inquisitor? About bloody time. I thought your lot had followed Lord Klosterheim into the Dark Zone. Listen. We're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death, Thorn out. Well, we have some New some entry. person. I established connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the ship, but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. So apparently, I mean, if what he was saying was correct, there would have been other Inquisitors on this ship at some point. Right. Let's try and uh, hook up with them then. So that was apparently the second mission completed. Yeah, Forbidding Cult is the next one. Um, no level ups on this occasion. I'm uh, still uh, level 2, so I don't think that there's anything really we can do with me. So let's just go into chapter number 3. And on this occasion, we are straight in. We have a mission. Kill the Champions of Chaos. Three of those. Okay. Down into something more uh, steadfast or <laughs> whatever you want to say. Basically, we now have a proper mission. It's gone again. Another wave of filth is on its way to face me in a glorious carnage. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thorn. That was dangerously close to insolence, and you are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an Inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions to rally the troops. I need you to eliminate these creatures. It will slow down the tribes. So why are there tribes? I mean, that almost sounds like they were on this ship from the beginning. 
I mean, I would assume that, you know, this is a huge place. So, fine. It, it sort of stands to reason that it would be local uh, enclaves, etc, etc. So, you know, granted, sure. Uh, right, let's just keep going. We have some cultists, we have some Nurglings. So, obviously, Nurgle is one of the chaos gods that resides in here. Well, not the actual gods that probably are going to be here. You never know. You never know with these games, do you? Right, let's uh, take care of these one by one. Let's do a little bit of stuff like that. Oh, you you had a flamethrower thing, did you? Well, that's that's not fair. <laughs> you put me a fire. Is that my health? That is my health. Is that also my health? I think it is. That's the plan, yes. And who is this Caius Thorn exactly? Quite a character. Otherwise, I have no idea. He seems to think that I'm a member of his mysterious expedition. If there is an expedition, they might be trapped in that monastery just like you. Why do you think so? I made a scan. That giant wreckage looks completely dead from here. No sign of any other Voidcraft in the vicinity. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's presumably interesting. Let's uh, kill these, and we are... I have no idea how close we are to the first champion. But, uh... We'll keep going in here. This is a... That's a nice pile of dead people. <laughs> Lovely. Can go through here for something. Supplies. Sure. Are we talking supplies before a boss? I don't know. Supply. Supply what? <laughs> I, I I don't know what, what supply it's supposed to be. But yeah, okay, so we have the first champion here. Let's uh, throw a grenade over here. There we go. Screw you, basically. Also, screw you. Uh, no, we're gonna throw another grenade at you. And then we're gonna throw some stuff like this. We're also gonna... Okay, you spawn them, guys, do we do? That's nasty. We're also gonna... There you go. Got some level up. Oh, we died. The first nice. champion. I wonder if these mongrel tribes are the descendants of the original inhabitants. I guess I'll know more soon. So now we get a Rosarius Forest Field. I, I, I recognize that name. Also another staff. So, uh, go into here because uh, my staff, uh, 33 damage, 39 damage. Also blue. That means that it's rare. <laughs> Is that how it works in games like this? So obviously we're doing that one. We also got a Rosarius Force field. Uh, we're currently using grenades. So this would uh, protect us instead of attacking. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, where do I... Where do I put that? I implant grenades over there. And we also have a Signum that is a 10 damage. Uh, so... 4.2% effectiveness to vulnerable ability to buffs and suppression damage bonus. Do we put those there? Yes, we do. I have... That's less damage. But, you know, it's better. Uh, also, psychic focus is something I could have used. Has an extra skill slot for the psychic power instead of, uh, instead of your belt equipment. No, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, that seems fun. Uh, right. So what if I go to uh, the supply now? Is that perhaps increasing that? Yes. Yes, it does. <clears throat> Two charges, which is which is exactly what I had used. Uh, I don't think there is a map, so I'm just gonna follow this place. Okay, we have something over here. That is a marauder. I'm just gonna sap you a bit. <clears throat> Zap, zap, zap. Let's actually go here, because again, we can shoot both of them. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Screw you. Screw you. You are now vulnerable. Get some chaos demons. There we go. Made short work of you. More supply and medical supply. Uh, don't need any of this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spawn it here. So we can go in here. <clears throat> but we don't really need to. So uh, let's move on the uh, let's move on the champions because the next one is here. Oh crap! <laughs> uh, let's do this. Let's also get this one because I just like it. 
Uh, I'm actually gonna try and go... Let's uh, try and get up to the next level of... Let's go to the next level of warp stuff. But I can't. Okay. Considering that I'm alone, I'd say I'm making adequate progress. Alone? Where's the rest of your detachment? Under some smoldering wreckage. Well, that's unlucky. But that's all the more demons for us to kill. Let us rejoice in the furious challenge. Thorn out. Indeed. Another signum. Neural implant and neural implants. Let's actually have a bit of a look at those as well. So another signum. That is actually more damage. Heat damage, etc. Et Let's uh, replace... Can I not replace it? There we go. We also have a neural implant. Less max suppression, but uh, resistances and, and damage reduction. So obviously we take that one. We also had a worse one. Kind of interesting, the common one. I mean, the common one is more max suppression, but doesn't have any special things. That one has movement speed. That's kind of cool. But uh, no, we're not going to go for that. So let's uh, basically backtrack. That's medical supplies. I haven't really. I seem to be regenerating a little bit of health, so that's good. So let's kill you guys. I mean, it was actually difficult to get my war pit up. Uh, that's 40 per use. Molten beam, 5 plus 2 per second. Also not that much, but I want to try that one. Let's try that one. Uh, so do you... Ooh, okay. That was weird. I don't like that one. That, that was strange. Uh, let's just do this. Because screw you, basically. I can't get it up fast enough. <laughs> Let's also put you out. Because that helps. N now we're in good place here. Let's just spam damage. Ow. I think that hurt me. <laughs> the chaos has retreated from my door. Regrouping, I'd say. I take it you killed the tribal champions. Yes. I purged the place. How ambitious. I like that. But believe me, there is still much work to be done. You'll find a desecrated shrine next door that leads to the control room. Go there. I will, but first we are gonna look at this. I got a last pistol, but I don't really want that, no. No, I don't want that. But we also got a purity seal here. More max suppression and a whole whack of other stuff. What, what did you get? Physical resistance, damage reduction when suppression status is protected. Five damage bonus against chaos and demons. Well, that seems very... I mean, very useful, let's just say. So now we are actually picking up some stuff. That's cool. Uh, is this... Is this where... Oh, come on. Is this where I came from? I think... Yeah, this is where I came from, I think. But I just went straight forward instead. Right. Uh, let's get in here. Because there is something here. There is a cogitator here. So let's see what that this has to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, destination Colony Quar Scintilla, Scintilla, Subsectorial Admin Conduit. This is the Thrice Blessed Fortress Monastery Martyr. Category A3, Research Vessel of the Holy Orders under the leadership of Lord Inquisitor Uther Tiberius. We seek aid from the brothers and sisters of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The martyr is uh, on a highly important research pilgrimage from the Segmentum Pacificus to the Sigil Subsector. En route to Caligari Sector, the martyr was caught in a severe warp anomaly and the general shield suffered considerable damage. We need an emergency overhaul in the orbital dry docks of Koshe Prime as soon as possible. May the Emperor be with you. So a bit of a cry for uh, SOS or something like that. Right, let's get back to that place over there. Again, we do seem to be uh, getting back health. By the way, can't I... Here we go. I didn't get passive skills with my level up. Uh, maybe we can't... Maybe we can't do anything. That's just a tutorial. But maybe we can't do anything while in a mission. Maybe we have to exit into the screen that we were in in between missions in order to do anything with that. 
So, uh, can't go in there. So, let's go in here. Now we're going up here, I think. Where I was s sort of peeking into before. So, good thing I didn't go in here, because we weren't supposed to go in here. This is basically, yeah, this looks similar to the room with the Nurglings in the previous one. Oh, oh, you have a bit of a charge, do you? Well, that's not fair, is it? Oh, crap. Crap, crap. A new... Oh, another level up. Here we go. Level four. Another pyrokinetic staff, but that seems... Uh, where's the other staff that I have? Because I have another staff. If I switch out... Now it's a pyrokinetic, so is, are those the same? No, those are not the same. That is actually worse than what I have. Fair enough. Uh, keep going. Doesn't seem to be much here. Did you drop anything that I should pick up? Or that I didn't pick up? No, it doesn't seem like it. Right, Four. we're here. I've reached the end of this subdeck. Good. There is the exit. Some of my men will meet you on the other side. But plenty of them have been captured. I'll need your help to set them free. Fair enough. More fighting to be done. But that is the end of that chapter, I believe. So, level 3 gets me Plasma Pistol and Levitation. Ooh, fancy. There, there, there is the passive skill point that I didn't get before. And also rank 4 or level 4. Warp Rod. Hmm. A Psy Focus Point. Uh, psychic powers and passive skill points more, but I think that that is actually gonna be it for this little video This is uh, this is an interesting game. I gotta say I mean these kinds of games aren't always my favorite But uh, I have to say that I kind of like this game and I am Most likely gonna keep play playing this because I want to see what happens. I kind of like this a little bit more than the other uh similar game that we did, the Space Hulk game. Uh, I didn't really fancy that all that much. There were a few things about that that I didn't really care for that much. But this one, this one seems interesting. And there's a lot of stuff to delve into over here. I would assume that... Uh, because it, are these just basic levels needed? Level 7 to get to this one. Okay, so yep, apparently. And uh, complete side quests. Okay. So there are a whole bunch of things that you can do in this game that uh yeah there's it's a lot of things to put your put your teeth on so to speak or <laughs> bite down on if you would so if you like uh, similar games like this and if you like the warhammer 40k universe i think that you should take give this a look because this is uh this is very nice and obviously the aesthetics as i was mentioning i mean this just looks so fucking cool <laughs> sorry about that word but it does. It does re look really effing cool. And this is one of the reasons why I just love the Warhammer 40k universe. So give this a bit of a look. I think that you will absolutely enjoy this. For now though, this has been Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.